started here. These are the teams that lost their three round of 16 matches yesterday, so they've ended in what is the third tier of competition. And these are the starting sevens. Portugal will be led out by, by Prudenhal. Jamaica, Melville, one of their young players given the responsibility alongside Tyler Bush to lead out the, the Crocs as they're known. And that name bottom right there, one Francis Horn, better known as Frankie, an absolute legend of South African Sevens rugby and a former teammate of the man alongside me. Chris Dry, Chris, what's Frankie been up to with his Jamaican side the last couple of days? Yeah, well, Frankie, you know, he's been out in, in the States for, for quite a, quite some time now and got the opportunity to work with Jamaica. And you can just see they're just trying to be beastie like him. Uh, and, and obviously a, a system that's also growing and, and needs some time. So, yeah, excited to see what they can do and uh, excited to see what, what they can produce today. Yeah, and here they come. Tyler Bush leads out. The Jamaican side, Rodrigo Prudental, the captain of Portugal, looking for their first wins here at the tournament. There's the result so far for Jamaica. They lost to Tonga 17-0, Scotland 24-7, and Portugal. Ireland were a bit too good for them. They had their chances against Germany. Uh, Germany just a bit too good. So both these sides looking for their opening win. Mornay Ferreira is your referee for this one a local officiator underway Jamaica right to left in the yellow shirts we saw them at the Challenger series in Santiago a few weeks ago and they've got an early opportunity here an early error from Portugal yeah the ball just not going to hand and uh, you can see Jamaica's line just pushing up and trying to put pressure on them it obviously changed a little bit of tactics from the slide to putting a lot of pressure on them Grouch. It'll be Set. Ronaldini Fraser who will feed this scrum. He's got Adamson behind him, but Fraser decides to go himself. <laughs> Gone forward in contact. They Level do get the decision, five, however. Portuguese just getting five. themselves offside. Fraser. Series captain Tyler Bush, and here's Adamson. Fraser just gets away from a couple and the dancing feet and the pace of Ronald Enyi Fraser. Isn't he happy he's got the opening try? Oh, they're excited. You know, they didn't score in the previous game. They're on the scoreboard. And look at Jamaica just playing with some fear, leaving everything out on the field. You know, they haven't done it quite up until this point, And they really want to get some points on the board and also really want to have a, have, a, have a crack at it. And I think that's what they're doing. Great start for Jamaica. Yeah, Ronald Henry Fraser, Beanie, as he's known. Now they get the extra couple. Nice to see a young player take the initiative by himself. Recently made his debut for Jamaica. They've been the invitational time team on a couple of occasions of late on the Sevens World Series when some teams weren't able to travel because of the pandemic. They filled in in the Spanish legs and Malaga and Sevilla did very well as well. Portugal, who used to be a core nation on the series for many years, just fallen out of the top tier of sevens of late. Good work from Fabio Concaseo, but another penalty goes Jamaica's way, and this time it's Cameron Melville. Got it. Part of why Sally Serebi's Academy in California. Decision this time goes Portugal's way, so that'll allow them to try and get out of this part of the field. It's all been down one end so far. Jack Rampton, also part of that Serevi Academy, making the tackle on the far side. Another penalty to the team in red. 
inch by inch. They're moving upfield. Looks like a contact over on the far side. Jamaica playing with six defenders at the moment, and Portugal are looking to capitalise. And there is the try to Fabio Concaceo for Portugal. Jamaica down a player. Portugal take advantage. Jose Santos just giving the in out and a runabout. He puts his mate away and now we've got a game on our hands. Oh, let's take a look at this. Oh, perfect timing of the pass as well. Great shots from our camera crew. Just watching Duncan Sayo skip through. Spider cams getting in the fun as well. So good response from Portugal. Converted seven each, three to go in this first half. The restart goes straight down the middle. That's really good work from Alpha Rosa. He's got the ball back too after that good work from the restart. And they've got a potential overlap over on the far side through the hands of Rodriguez, the fruit and the skipper. Oh, it could be a double whistle here. Yeah, that means yellow card. It'll be Jamaica. He'll be playing with six again this time because of the indiscretion from Anthony Bingham. Deliberate lockdown. Scrum option. Again, smart play. Portugal opting for the scrum. They know their man up. And, and it's inter interesting to see the, the momentum shift. They just scored a try, got the kickoff back, and again, now Jamaica's under pressure. Uh, Jamaica really have to get out the blocks to, to try and defend this because, you know, you got that blind side. is always going to be a threat. You've got a hooker that has to come out to the left. Yeah, it's a cool zero tolerance for knocking the ball down. Sometimes we Set. look at that situation I think it's un bit unlucky for the defender who's genuinely going for the intercept but that looked pretty decisive that Blinding. one just stuck an arm out and they've got another penalty here and they've got the power play seven on six shifted pass over to Concaseo looking for his second and he'll get it well it didn't take long to make the most of it Portugal with the sin bin for Jamaica they capitalize once again again just a great response they're spotting the, the the space out wide and they've got they've got space to burn puts him away he's in for his second and it's a great finish body on the line stuff from jamaica but it just wasn't enough many of these portuguese players double up in sevens and fifteens that conversion won't get there they got some support here in cape town as well Seen flags and scarves and shirts and hats for every team here. It really is a multinational event. 40 teams here, 24 in the men's division, 16 in the women. You offer me to over the line. Great scenes at Cape Town Stadium, but not the greatest restart you've ever seen. You have the option, re kick or scrum. No, 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 re kick or scrum. Who's the best restarter with the job kick no, you've ever played with, Chris? <laughs> Locally? <laughs> Uh, restart, you know, uh, teams go up and down. And I think, you know, they, they they get it right some weekends and then they then they don't get it right. But, you know, some of these balls coming down with ice, they're hitting it so high. But I think Salwan Davids at the moment, you know, he's he's finding the space. He's not necessarily getting it up in the air, but he knows where the space is and he's putting it up there. Again, the kick is only as good as its chase. Absolutely. Billy Dardis from Ireland. Oh, yes. He's brilliant. Falau Niua, who's not here with the USA this weekend, he actually kicks off both feet, doesn't he? So you never know where that's going. It's quite extraordinary to watch. Yeah, there are some experts at it. This one's better. Big Rampton trying to rev up the engine for this Jamaican side. That's gone. Off the leg. back into the hands of Tyler Bush. And now they can come away. Still playing with six players here. Now the Simbin's back on the field. This is Anthony Bingham. He was sitting down for two minutes. So 
It's a fair fight at the moment. Seven each. Tyler Bush sets up the breakdown. Looking for the counter ruck Portugal, but Jamaica hold on to it. Yeah, this will help. But a straight line running from Ashley Smith gives it back to Adamson. He loses a bit of ground, and Tyler Bush does well to regain his footing. But that's a dangerous pass. So Ronaldina Fraser, oh, the try score, but Portugal was just up a bit quick, and Fraser comes away with it. Adamson again. I think the kick was on there for Rampton. He called to the kick through, but they decide to keep it into the hands. Fraser again. He's the danger man. There he is, skipping through again. <laughs> almost the way the little pass over the top, still alive. Did that go backwards? No, it didn't. But Ronaldinho Fraser again showing that he's the excitement machine for Jamaica. However, it will be Portugal who will go to the break leading at 12 7. Sousa, head coach of Portugal, are taking a big few deep breaths here. It was actually the blitz box that started this, wasn't it, Chris? The, the sort of dedicated in unison breathing at halftime? Yeah, we're the breathe masters. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's something that's brought in the game and, and obviously taken forward and, and other teams learn from it. And, and, and it's just a way to reset yourselves, you know. You can't listen if you're tired. So get that first breath in, get that second breath in. The second breath is actually just a signal to start listening. Uh, but that first breath, get it back. This game is brutal. You're going to run around. You're going to need that breath. Slow down that heart rate, and then let's start again. There's Frankie. What will he be saying to this Jamaican team at the moment, do you think? Uh, Frankie Horn, you know, he's telling guys we can dominate them. He knows that the pace and the electrifying feet. You've got guys like Fraser who's, who's a rocket pocket. You know, give him the ball, let him open up the space and then get it wide and then let's get, get some yards. I'll tell you what, the Jamaican side, they've had some really good intel behind the scenes, haven't they, with Wasali Serebi being involved late as well. Now Frankie Horn. Yeah, it's just great to see legends of the game, you know, getting involved. Just make sure. What happened there? The ball over the line. So on the line or behind the line? Portugal leading Jamaica 12-7. There's just a little query there about the former, the restart in the first half. It was retaken. Coming up. Good. More Good. semi-finals and we're building to the super <laughs> session tonight. Four hours of some of the best rugby sevens you'll see in your life. All the championship quarterfinals and the men's and women's competition coming your way this evening. Sellout expected here under lights at Cape Town Stadium. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. But these teams not playing for the the major medals, but certainly plenty of pride here. There's a physical run there from Jack Rampton, but that's gone forward. Yeah, it's it's always just getting that balance right, you know, trying to get the yards, but also you have to look after the ball. And often teams get it wrong, trying to do both. Great opportunity now again for, for Portugal. Crouch! Find! Set! Feeding the scrum here is Nine, wait. Vaz Antunes for Portugal. They get another Bring penalty, it been a lot. Even this. Have the scrum straight. Game. Plenty going against Jamaica, just allowing Portugal to slow it down, play it at their pace. Murrah gets cut out for Prudental. And another pass might do it, but again, it's just not quite on point. That was a good opportunity for Diogo Rodriguez. You can just see Portugal trying to set up that, that structured move and, and just not getting the width okay. on the field. It felt like they were a little bit disorganized. Three. But Hold on. again, you know, it's those small oh, yeah, moments yeah. that you open need to capitalize. Up, open up, open up. Love sevens in Cape Town. The whole city's behind it. Everyone's here enjoying their time. And Portugal looking to enjoy this a bit more. But that's gone forward again. Yeah, it's these small errors that you, as a coach, you know, <laughs> they call it a coach killer. Uh, but it's these small errors that, that really cost you, you know. You, you actually want to 
get capitalize on that get points on the board and and if you could score uh, being 12 7 being portugal you know it, it puts you in a, in a different right. mindset in a different position jamaica got plenty of experience there are six players from 2018 in this jamaican squad here at the at the world cup they were at the Commonwealth Games a little while ago Marshall, as well. They were 13th at that tournament in San Francisco four years ago. Time on. Played on the Sevens World Series Crouch. as well, as I said. They're not the first Caribbean nation to play on Five. the series. Trinidad and Tobago back in Los Angeles. Set. 2004. And Guyana in Las Vegas when the tournament was there. Previously Wait. played in Sevens Stop. events in Stop. North America. Decided to try and find some territory with the kicking game and why not they felt they needed to try and just get out of their own danger zone there you know as a forward you always have to when that ball bounces out and rather sit and, and restart now again with a lineup play on ball backwards portugal hold on to the possession from the line out a little dummy there over on the far side but it's been hacked clear by Ryan Denver and it might result in a try just getting back as Vaz Antunes for Portugal. They might check this one. Just gonna check the grounding. Stand by Mornay. Felt like he got there. He got pressure on the ball. It's Diogo Rodriguez actually in the 10 shirt. Yeah, he looks like he got back. Yeah, it looks like he got it. Try scoring opportunity. Again, an interesting one. If he had to dot that ball down uh, on that on the behind the try line, you know, in sevens, it's a 22 dropout. Uh, where where the, the 15s game has changed. Old rules, yeah. Yeah, Old rules and, that, and, and that's a no big line dropouts. That's a big difference, you know, in, in the two games, the two formats of the games. I think he's got it down. Well, I guess the other thing is he didn't get it down. Is it a try to Bingham? Did he come in and score yeah. it? If he hasn't forced that, Bingham touches that down. Or does he? Morning, no. I have a decision. Yep. It's no try. And you can restart with a 22. 22. There you go, Chris, you called it. No 22 try. dropout. 22. All's well in the end for Portugal. <laughs> get out of jail free card there for Portugal. Again, it came from the era, didn't it, when they were running upfield. It's just a bit of part of that game, a lack of accuracy. Got some attacking ability, but they just need to do the simple things first. They decided to kick that clear and make good yardage there from the dropout. Yeah, that's some smart plays. You know, you're spotting that space on the side. You, you, you're backing your defense. Uh, you're backing, putting pressure on that lineup. Keeping it in there. would rather play in their half. Long line out throw to Rampton for Jamaica. Gives it to Bush. And now they can get into a little bit of space here, Jamaica. Ashley Smith to Bush again. That's loose ball. And it's latched on too well by Marrera. And he'll just get through, falling off tackles. Jamaica and Duarte. Moreira is all smiles. <laughs> they extend their lead. Uh, yeah, he is happy. You know, again, forced error. Playing in that channel. Oh, that offload. Ball just never bounces always uh, to your favor. He looked to pass and he saw open gates in front of him. He said, I'm going to get me a fiver. Yeah, Gareth Stepani missed the tackle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good celebration from Nuno Sousa, Guerres and Moreira for Portugal. for 21st place. Yeah. 
Apparently, it's Portugal who give themselves a chance to avoid the wooden spoon at this tournament. With this healthy lead now they've got, and they're going to extend it again, are they, in the corner. This time it's Vasco Ribeiro. Yeah, interesting to see. You see the Jamaicans are lining up quite deep, and that's where the space was. They got the kickoff again. Had the numbers out wide. Just all drawing pass. Extending the lead nicely now. That man who was celebrating, Guedes. Gonna be extra two. So 24-7 now, minutes ago though. Look at that, what a shift in momentum in this game. In that graphic, Chris, I just Jamaica started well, but Portugal really found their feet as this game's continued. And Jamaica finished with something positive here. Not on that evidence. Uh, been touch. Scrum will line out. Scrum will line out. Scrum to see what they'll do. They got the option scrum. of the scrum or the line out. Most teams are up for a scrum. It's, it's sometimes a safer bet. Especially with yeah. the Jamaicans being so tall, definitely be a threat at that line out. And also op opportunity to buy some more time. You got Smart player. Crouch. Find. Set. Seconds almost out here, Portugal. On course for their first win of the weekend, having lost their opening two matches yesterday. A little double clutch provides a, a little bit of space here for Roberto and now Morata who's already got one five-pointer in this game already look at him he's so powerful just shrugging off would-be defenders but getting in the passing lane there is Oscar Clayton for Jamaica penalty though to Portugal this is added seconds so can't can't end on a penalty but Portugal are gonna get another score here Nuno Sousa Guedes this Portuguese well, team just coming to life. You know, they did, They could have kicked the ball out. They said, no, we're going to utilize every single second we get on this field. And look at that fight. Handoff after handoff. Lose the ball and then the turnover again. Oh, they all stepped. He knew someone was in his inside. He's going to put him away. Yeah, it's been a fine second half performance from Portugal. They have really put a, a gloss on this victory. Their first win of the weekend, that's what it means. They have beaten Jamaica by 31 points to seven.